Now I saw this picture floating around and the question of where are the men seems irrelevant to me in this argument because my thoughts are where are the feminists? Now, don't get me wrong. I love being a woman. They even did a song on it. I love being a woman. The man is the head, but I am the neck and I carry influence. I love being a woman, okay? <laughs> so I'm not being hard on women. I'm just saying, I think it's very interesting that the feminists only come out when it comes to equal pay and being, you know, the CEO of, of a multi-billion trillion dollar corporation. Like, why aren't y'all out there stomping to be plumbers or electricianists or something of that nature? To me, it just seems like selfishness. I wanna be able to have some extra letters in front of my name, or I wanna be able to say that I can do what a man can do. It's ridiculous. It, it's just, it, honestly, it's just selfishness. And the fact that you can stomp to be a CEO, but you don't stomp for the right for, for women's sports to remain women's sports just show us your true colors and i think that that is what you find in all of their arguments it's absolutely wicked you can't hold one mindset in this woke religion without opposing the other side of it none of it goes together none of it makes sense men can't speak on women issues because they're men but but you can speak on it if you claim to be a woman. All white people are evil, but you're white. Oh, well, I mean, not me. I'm just saying, other white people are evil. Well, well, what about your aunt or your mom? Well, I mean, not my mom, but I mean like other white people. That's like, really? <laughs> it's just, black people are oppressed by the white man. So you think you're an oppressor? Well, no, like I I'm fighting for your rights. Really? <laughs> so, so you think you're better than me? No, I mean, I don't think I'm better than you. Then, then why say that you're fighting for me if you don't think you're better than me? You think your voice is louder than mine? I, I, don't, I don't understand what you're saying here, what you're trying to convey. All of their ideas are founded on manipulation. But I find it interesting that people don't see that this is actually a religion. They love to say, you know, separation of church and state. So, so you want to separate God from everything, but, but you don't mind adding and including the kingdom of darkness in everything that you do. Like for an example, when the Texas bill came out as far as uh, abortion, I, I think it's called the heartbeat bill, I'm not sure, but guess who rose up to oppose it? That's right, Satanists. Why? Because it infringes on their religion. Now, the murdering of babies isn't anything new. You find it in the Bible, all throughout the Bible actually. But that's the spiritual level, but how deep does Satan want to take it? Have y'all seen this? A Democrat, as always, from Maryland, wants to be able to pass a bill that has infanticide in it. So y'all telling me y'all trying to kill babies already born up to 28 days? Like, forget the heartbeat bill. <laughs> it's just, even after they are born, we want to be able to still kill them. It's demonic. Now, on a natural level, a lot of times that they push these things is for self-profit. They don't see that they're doing it and they don't, they don't care because the only thing that they can see is the self-gain. They're willing to say yes to whatever Satan throws their way as long as they can get a decent paycheck out of it. And that's why, on, on a natural level, they fight it because you can't really harvest organs that haven't been developed yet. All of it is wickedness. And the sad part is, is that even the word of God, I know that it says to study to show yourself approved unto God, but it says always be ready to give an answer to man. Always be ready. And I know that it's according to this hope, but everything in God, there is nothing separated in it. And that's the problem. And because we haven't been studying to really show ourselves approved or even to be able to have an answer to give anybody, we don't know what to say with these things. So when they come and they throw this nonsense at us, they go, oh, okay, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll step back. Well, even when Jesus gave the story about the demon that was pulled out of the man, it says it goes out for a little bit, but it comes to see if the house has been filled. And if it ain't been filled, he's going to find his buddies to fill it. That's exactly what takes place. You want to pull God out of this and pull God out of that? Okay, well then who's going to take up the space? It don't just remain empty. 
it does get filled. And this is the lack of discernment that the body of Christ has had for years. But it's time to wake up. It's time to know our God and to begin to really see things in spirit and in truth. People of God, wake up.